Hello and welcome back to the box. In today's video, we'll be going to Newbury and visiting the Newbury Emporium. So, let's get going and go to Newbury and see what lovely coins they have in the Antiques Emporium there. We got some quick videos and photos of what we saw in the antique shop. As you can see, there are some great coins, so let's show you what we bought. I'll give you a rough idea of the prices as they were all done by weight, 70p per gram. I got a 1907 shilling from the reign of Edward VII, and then I have an 1874 shilling from the reign of Victoria. Also a 1914 shilling from George V, and also a 1873 shilling from the reign of Queen Victoria. First sixpence, this is from 1912. I got a 1916 from the reign of King George V. This is a sixpence from 1893, uh, which is of the Victoria's reign. Uh, I also got two sixpences from King George III from the years 1819 and 1817. Two pounds for these was a great price. I managed to guess an 1840 groat and William IV groat where the date's been worn off. And my last coin is an 1891 threepence from the reign of Queen Victoria. Now let's look at my coins. We do apologise for any win. Here we have my three non-British silver coins. So starting from left to right, we have a threepence from 1927. Here we have a 10 cents from Canada. Now this is just legible by the 10 just below the crown. And yet again, we have the monarch being George V. Last, but by no means least, we have a 5 cents from the 1800s. I'm not too sure what year exactly, but obviously we have Victoria, which is an amazing portrait in my opinion. So for the British coins, we're gonna go from smallest denomination to the biggest. Here we have two threepences. On the left we have our threepence from 1897 and on the right we have our threepence from 1873. Here we have two groats or fourpences, both from the reign of Queen Victoria. The first one on the left is hold and from the year of 1842. And on the right we have another fourpence from 1841 with the same young portrait. So here we have a sixpence from 1896, a lovely design, obviously from the reign of Queen Victoria, a veiled portrait. Once again, these coins were done by weight, so it was 70 pence per gram. Here we have a shilling from 1899, so Queen Victoria again, the veiled portrait. Have two florins, the one on the left is from 1894, in amazing condition and again we have a veiled portrait of Queen Victoria. The one on the right is a Gothic florin, so we made it out to be from 1873 and it has the Gothic portrait. Last but by no means least we have this 1834 half crown. This is an amazing coin and my favourite coin and purchase of the day. We worked it out to be just under £10. This coin is William IV and usually sells for £30, so I got an amazing deal today. I bought quite a few more coins on Charles and Max, so I'll head back to the studio and we can show you those coins. 
So then, the coins are in this box I put, a sneak peek. Whoa, whoa, whoa. right, the prices are on screen, roughly what was paid as it was done by weight, 70 pence per gram, and we'll go from smallest to highest denomination. Let's begin. So firstly we have an 1873, lovely coin, young Victoria. Then flying through the dates we have 1884, nice condition that one there. This one, these are all sterling by the way. This one is 1884 again, it looks like a bit worn, maybe 1882, I'll have a closer look. This one here is 1891. So that's the Jubilee head portrait. This one here is an 1895, so a veiled head portrait. One of all the portraits. Two more, we have this one here. It's a nice toning from 1887. It's a young head variety, not the Jubilee head variety, but sadly has been stamped with a four. And the last three pence is this one here from 1875. A good date, but it has been hold. Now then, onto the six pences. First have this one from 1893, veil head. Then this one from 1919, the last year of sterling silver. And then this one is a very nice coin, 1864. A very old, young head, Jubilee sixpence. And look at this, the die number, die number one, which I believe adds rarity as it is you know, the first die ever used for these and they went through hundreds of them. So that's a very, very cool coin. There was also some 50% silver sixpences of which, as you can see here, I got 10 miscellaneous dates. However, this one was in there. This is not 50%, so I got an even better deal actually on this one, I hadn't realised. It's from 1909, and it's Edward VII, so a nice coin. I think that one's a new one for my date run as well. I'll show you all the additions to my date run and collection at the end. So now moving on to the shillings, I got some lovely shillings, it must be said, and I got many, many shillings indeed. First up we have this one from 1900, a lovely design with the veiled head. We then have a more modern design, a George V one from 1915, great coin. We then have this one from 1913, another lovely coin, a bit worn that one. We then have this one, 1918, another lovely, lovely coin, truly great coin. This one here has the date worn off it, which is a shame, but it is an old coin with the veiled head, uh, the young head, Victoria. We then have this one, very, very worn, but you can make out the date, 1853. That's a great date, a very old coin. And so th these are found and they come up less often than some of the more modern ones. We then have this one, a Jubilee design from 1889 there with the Jubilee head, of course. And then this one here from 1874. The date is very visible, although it has been worn off in the middle. All great new shillings to add to my shilling date run and collection, as you'll see in a moment. One florin, and it is this one here, a George V one from 1916. But this is a beauty of a coin. Lovely, lovely design, nice toning, and not been too sort of dented or dinged. It's a very, very nice coin in a cool condition from during World War I the year of the Battle of the Somme. A great, great coin. And then moving on to the half crowns, of which I got two, the same coin, twice, 1918. Now I did have a 1918 half crown, but I bought two more. Not quite sure how or why, but I mean, it was a great, great they're great coins, I don't mind having doubles of these, and they do come at a good price. That's part of the sort of 70 pence a gram bundle. So, you know, a good one to add to the collection, nonetheless. So in my date runs, I do in these um, sort of red trays, and I have put paper, or card inserts here where the dates I haven't got. I'll now show you the little card inserts I've taken out today because I've got them. So I've got one new florin for the date run. I've got two new frequencies for the date run. Four more dates there added to my six pence date run. And then lastly, the most dates I got checked off for the date run is four shillings. We have here seven new shilling dates ticked off for my date run. After buying things at that antique shop, we had a look around the town and managed to find Gold Shop. We did not buy any gold coins, they're quite expensive, but we did visit a venue called The Newbury, and we did definitely buy some stuff there. Overall, it was an amazing day in Newbury, with lots of new coins and fun we enjoyed. We hope if you liked the video, please do comment down below, subscribe and share the video.